Hey guys, welcome back. Um, for today's video, I don't know if this is happening to anyone else, but after I download 1.1.6, I am unable to delete any of these plots in progress on all my plotting computers. They're all grayed out like this before it used to light up. Even before, this wasn't really working that great. So I usually end up closing this out, go to Task Manager, and all of this stuff in progress and uh, start over but the problem is sometimes I have one that's already going and all I need to do is delete this what do I do so I went on Google and searched task manager alternatives uh, and the first thing that popped up was this process explorer this process explorer is actually developed by Microsoft Windows team so it's pretty legitimate unless you don't trust Microsoft for whatever reason maybe you don't trust Microsoft because of Bill Gates, I don't know. If you don't trust it, don't use it. Uh, but I feel like this is a pretty good program. It's a pretty quick download. There's nothing to install. You download into a zip file and you get these exes and you just run this application here and you end up with this. So I'm using this as an example. I need to delete this particular plot. So what you can see that here is um, when you run it actually just runs command lines right so if you hover your mouse over these you'll see that you know your destination folder your temporary folder uh, what you can also do is just go to properties here so this is the first plot here that's a seven percent and you can see here that these are all the parameters right you have you know I use 5000 MBI use six threads here this is my destination folder this is my uh, ten folder and so forth so this is not the plot that I want to delete obviously uh, this one is so you go to here go to properties and you can see the same thing here also if you want more information on these parameters you can also go back to the github wiki which I'll put the link in the description below and um, you can look into yourself more if you want to but also what you could do is if you know what time around what time this plot started you could just check the time you don't have to check the parameters but just checking like this one I use two threads and I really want to use six let's say so I need to delete this right so what I do is I could just hit kill process and that's pretty much it so you should see this going away in a minute all right so that's gone so that this is gonna stop here the only thing is when doing this it doesn't really disappear from here and also I try doing the view force reload don't do that you're just gonna get that connecting circle of death so don't don't do that uh, I would just leave it here until next time you can close it out and reopen it uh, one more thing is you want to also delete the temp files right so this is my temp folder but what if you use the same temp folder for the other plots which temp file do you delete? So that's not really a problem. What you do is select all of it, hit delete, and then yes, right? So it's gonna pop up this message because the other temp file is being used by the other plots. And then that's when you know, you just say, do this for all current items, just skip it, right? And that's it because now the leftover ones are you know being used by the plot that's currently running i hope this video helped you guys out uh happy plotting happy farming and i'll see you on the next one